guys, you like Freedom One here, and welcome back. I am very excited. Today we are checking out another iconic John H. Benjamin role. And if you haven't seen the title over at the thumbnail, today we are watching the pilot episode of Home Movies. And I feel like I've seen bits and pieces of Home Movies throughout my childhood because it was on Adult Swim when Adult Swim was still like a big thing. But I don't remember a whole lot about it. I know I've seen a little bit of this and a little bit of Baby Blues. And I have no background on this show, really. I just know that there's a soccer coach, and I think that's John H. Benjamin. There's a kid named Brandon. There's a girl with a purple shirt and purplish hair. And there's some bigger kid as part of their friend group. But I don't know, like, context of anything else. So I don't know if there's actually, like, an ongoing story throughout the series or if it's just kind of like Spongebob and where it's a one-time adventure each episode. But I don't know. I'm really excited to get into it. So sit back, grab a snack, and enjoy my first time watching. Home Movies Season 1, Episode 1. Oh, little baby. I think this was John H. Benjamin's first, um, kind of role, wasn't it? Or am I wrong? <clears throat> Hello. I don't know what you're doing out there. What are you doing out there? Oh, I don't just, yeah. Because in my mind, uh, soccer's played with a ball. Uh, right? I wasn't trying. I was trying to run towards the goal. You're not getting points by running through the goal post. The ball oh my has God. to go through. Brendan, I'm going to show you something, all right? Mm -hmm. Maybe this will give you a little incentive. Uh -huh. Look at my arm right there. See that? Yeah. I got you that got a I cow tattoo. Years old. I'll tell you something. Yeah. I regret it. Because this tattoo yeah. don't come off. Right. I have right. a tattoo of a cow's head because I love that cheese then. So I get the cow. I go in there. I'm a little drunk. And I say, give me that cow head from that cheese. I love that cheese. Uh -huh. What the hell are you talking about? Cow, I got that tattooed on my chest. I'm an idiot. I got yes. trademark products all over my body. It's like going to a market because I was drunk one night. Wow. Don't live like me. Right. All right? Now <laughs> go out there and play great. Oh. Oh, just... Mom, Mom, guess what? I got my... I finished the preview for my movie. I'd really like oh, to Oh, he's a little filmmaker. Please, yeah. please, yeah. please, Mom. Please, please, yes, please, yes. Please. Go ahead, show me. Okay, here it goes. It's a... Uh, what's it called? Uh, it's called the, the Dark Side of the Law. In a world. Turns out your old partner has gone dirty. Gone mad. He's gone dirty. <laughs> He's a dirty cop. There stands one. People don't understand me. I wanted to make a difference. Cop. Jason, we, we went to the academy together. Fighting. You were a good cop. Don't try to sweet talk me against evil. This direction is I so weird. That's an alarm clock. You cut the wrong wire, the bomb the wire. explodes. Injustice. This is the worst movie. I'm sorry. He's like eight years old, but this is just terrible. <laughs> What do you think? That's huh? You know, it looks it great. To start writing the speech. Yeah, well, I, you know, I'd, I'd like gonna... to thank my mother. Yeah, no, don't worry, you're in there somewhere. Oh, that I'm, I'm gonna go out tonight. Mm -hmm. oh. Where are you going? I'm gonna go on a date. Keep going on. Oh, is she yeah. a single mom? Um, I don't remember that uh, you're supposed to do that. I thought that you, what you do is not do that. Yeah. Women are supposed to go on dates, especially newly divorced women. They're supposed to. Oh, she's divorced. Well, and uh, and think about I mean, life and youth. I am absolutely supposed to go on a date. I've been hiding my light under your under your dad's bushel. Uh, mom, that's making me. I'm a little. I was gonna say, please Wait, don't I ever say that again. I want to tell you who I'm going out with. Mm. I'm going is it the out coach? With, uh, Mr. McGurk. Come again? Oh. Mr. McGurk. My soccer coach? Yes, Brendan, yes. It's a, aren't you too too old to be playing in a sandbox? He's I'm like not playing, though. I'm, eight. I'm sitting in a sandbox. This is where I come uh -huh. to reflect on things. And You're looking for... Uh, I'm looking for answers to questions. Uh -huh. I'm looking for solutions to problems. I, I, am, I came out here, and I've been uh -huh. digging up things, and I found this. Oh! Yeah, I think you should bury that again. No, please don't What's bury it. Just on, throw it away. Kind of in a bad mood. Missy, we gotta get going. Tell my dad. Maybe he could help. You know how you pick us up and Coach McGurk's there, that mm -hmm. big, fat, crappy Irish guy? Well, I don't think that's... The, yeah. I mean, that's yeah. the problem. Right. The problem that is that he's dating my mom tonight. He's going out on a date. Mm-hmm. Is your dad a therapist? See, you have so much going on, so many things to be, to be happy about. Nah. Well, Melissa tells me about your ideas for movies. Has, mm -hmm. I've seen some of your early work, and it's yeah. wonderful. Oh. Yeah. What was your favorite one? Don't put me on the spot, please. I'm sorry. My I, gosh, I, you know, he's I just, just lying. I the gesture. Well, Melissa, we have to be at, at Mr. Buck's studio in 10 minutes. In 10 minutes? Yeah. We have what, made a commitment. What, what are you guys talking about? A, a sonata in E minor Maybe Brendan doesn't have time right no, now. No, no, I 
bad. I, I want to hear this. I love how they just talk over each other. <sighs> oh. No, buddy. You need a lot more practice. No, 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 no. Oh, okay. That's, that's, I like that. Yeah. I, I feel strangely, like, cheered up by your playing. I'm wearing just... This is my feeling. Right now, I'm at the precipice of my life. I'm, 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 I'm at a turning point. I've decided that I'm just gonna go dress how I am dressed, because otherwise, it's almost false advertising. Uh -huh. Wearing a, a big baggy pants and a shirt that makes a man want to buy me another shirt. Uh -huh. yeah, okay. I think I have just the right attitude, don't you? That's a good. I, 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 I can respect it. I guess you know you want to be who you are. Yeah, it's, do you think it's in season? Don't be a wise guy, all right? <laughs> Let me be a dumb guy, huh? Don't take no. the jacket off. Cause you're starting to sweat through it, and then they see the shirt underneath it. You're just gonna look like sweat man, yeah, unless you get the whole thing. There's wet. nothing wrong with sweating if you're a man. That's what happens. Oh my god. That's a lot. Know. That's a lot. No, I haven't. She's very cute. I like to say hi to her. Hello. You get. You know what? You're kind of a lucky guy. What you come that? in here. You got a. You got a family already, right? Ew, whose kid is this? I don't know yours now. <laughs> he kind of looks right? like Brendan's like dad. Yeah, so he's gonna be, isn't it? Yeah. You know, Brendan, I know what you're doing. You know how to hold a child? Mm -hmm. Have you ever held a baby and had it look at you like it really loves you and you know, needs you? Brendan, I'll tell you something. Gosh, you know, right? he's getting in his head. Yeah. Oh yeah. I know what you're trying to do, uh -huh. and that's not gonna can you, work. Can you seriously? Can you carry me for a second? I'm is the coach wearing a pants suit, or is that just his body? He's wearing a pants suit and a shirt on top I mean, of that's it. It's not the only thing that goes into coaching having big legs. Uh, I think I just ate a whole clove of garlic. Oof. Well, well, look. You know what? It, you know what it is. I mean, I think that's a big I, spoonful of whatever that is. Conversation about uh, anything. Yeah. But um, I come from a family that that was split up. Yeah. Uh, it can be hard on a kid. I, I remember having the same feelings. You know. Yeah. Uh, it's why I dropped out of school. Which I expect Brendan might do. So wow. I mean, I, you know, you never know what's going to happen when uh, when a family falls apart. Guard, guard. Yes. Hello, guard. Hello. <laughs> I could use some water and some bread, for I haven't had any in weeks. There's someone here to see you, mother. This kid's oh, acting is not giving yes. any anything. It's a lot of weight here at the prison. Um. French. Yes, here in France. It's all my fault. It should be me behind bars with a French stupid guard, not you. <laughs> yes, the French agree, stupid mother. guard. I'm a horrible person. Mrs. Small, look at my hat. Ew, okay. sir, wipe His your nose. Ew. Stop, 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 stop. Ew. <laughs> Miss <laughs> Paula? Yeah. Kids are always like, I don't want to do that. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I consider it my job. Ma'am, you're not contributing anything to this conversation, kind of sir. That is too yeah. much That's what effort. All about. That's why I love it. I mean, every day I go out there and I twist the kids into doing uh, something they don't want to do. Yeah. Up, right? Yeah, what do you think we're doing? We're talking. Hey, Brendan, you watch your mouth. Oh, I'm sorry. Hey, Brendan. Insulted. Yeah? I'm addressing the team. Uh-huh. Right? That means you listen. That means you too, Melissa. Yes. Right? I'm looking at you too. <laughs> hey, everybody, guess what? Hey, Brendan. McGurk's gonna come after your mom. Brendan. That's gonna happen. Brendan, Brendan. sit down. Save your mom. No, I'm not coming after your mom. No. Brendan, you settle down right now. I'm <laughs> this not kidding. happened to me, I All swear right, that's to enough, God. Brendan. No, no, no. Brendan. I'm not finished. Brendan. I'm just getting started here. Oh my gosh. Eat up, Mr. McGurk. Don't get my dad oh, in trouble. Medium bill. Don't get my dad in bigger, trouble. I mean, still, I think you could get him. I'm, I'm wiry. I know. Sir, look at the road. Here's the thing, Brendan. Do you have a gun? I don't have a gun. We'll Brendan. You a gun. Okay. Brendan. <laughs> Brendan, here's. I don't know if this is the right time, but let's try the duck game, Alyssa. Remember we were trying that last time? What is time? a duck game? It's a little hard. Brendan, hard. let me explain it to you really quickly. I'm mm -hmm. going to say a phrase to you in duck talk. Uh, okay. And <laughs> whoever gets it first wins. You and Melissa, whoever gets it first. Okay. Okay. Uh, Donald Duck impression. One, I've been drinking and I shouldn't be driving. What? Okay, let me try something simple. I've been drinking okay. and I shouldn't be driving. Ragu? No. Bradley? No. No, it's not a curse word. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> So what the good. hell is this? I think he just he wants to, to win. No, no, no. Yeah. Hey, that guy just give me the finger. <laughs> you know, I don't, I don't, I don't like my babysitters to go too far out of their way. If there's a jar that's impossible for the kids to open, then, then they, you know, then somebody could help them with it. But largely, I like them to just take care of themselves. Uh huh. If you, if you got a babysitter who and they do a good job and the kids like it, uh, then I think it makes the mother look bad. I don't know.
if this is like the most self-centered way I could think of it, I'm not sure. But <laughs> what? Are, are there the same rules with the babysitter as there are when you go on the date? Are the babysitters supposed to call you up the next day and say it was really great? No. You thought Dark Side of the Law was the last of the films with that title. You were wrong. It's the Let's sequel. Dark Side of the Law 2. First of all, welcome back to the force. Feels good to wear the blue again. Guess what? What? Now Officer Brendan's gone bad. Mm -hmm. He thought he was above the law. He was wrong. And demand number two. Number three. Three. Pizza. Should we run that scene again? Academy Award nominee Brendan Small gives his most That's terrifying performance. <laughs> I was, uh, what are you just, doing? Uh, trying out a new hair gel. Um, and I, uh, I didn't kay. expect. Uh, did I call you down here, Brendan? No, no. I, uh, mm -hmm. I found out where your office was, so I decided to come down and talk to you. Yeah, they hid me away down here. It's I, a uh, nice place. Uh, well, I just started redecorating it. Is it a sleeping bag? Yeah, I just. Uh, I you do might some bunk here once in a while. Sometimes, and occasionally I'll, I'll camp right here. A lot of mirrors in this place. That's well, feng shui. Right. I, the reason I came here, Mr. Listen, Mr. before you say anything, I, I, I honestly want to clear the air about your mom. Man, Brendan, you too. Shut up, Brendan, for one second, all right? Let me apologize Shut up, Brendan. I want you to know that everything is fine. We can continue to have a good relationship on the soccer field. Right. I want to make sure that we have a great season this year, and even though that's not going to happen, because no one can play soccer on our team. Uh, and I realize no it's a conflict of soccer. interest for me. I shouldn't be dating any of the players' moms. Right. Except Rebecca's mom. I haven't. She came to practice last night, uh, but I'm not going to call her. Ew. I thought about it, but then I knew what happened with your mom was I... wrong. And right. I said, you know what? Well, I did call her, but I'm not going to follow up on it. Oh, Gosh. That would be wrong. Uh, I was just going to commend him for I being so mature. And then he. No. Brendan, let me I tell you a little bit something about women. What's that? Mm -hmm. Women are like, they're like men. But I'll tell you something, men are not like women. What? Right. When you give, grow up, you'll understand give, what I'm talking about. I, I, give her I don't call, get any you know, of it. I, I honestly don't think that after this whole situation with your mom, I, I did some reflecting. Yeah. Right. And I wrote a poem. And I'm not, I'm not going to read you that poem no, because thank, uh, thanks. it's a little personal. Oh. Okay. And it has some dirty language in it. How you doing? Hey, Mr. No. McGurk, how are you? I'm all right. Hello. P Paula. Hi, it's uh, John McGurr, coach. Jo coach oh, McGurk. no. Hi. How you doing? Good. Good. I'm doing great. Really? You don't sound it. What is that? You don't sound great. I've been crying. That's all. I, but it, it's, it's not about anything. I but just um, sometimes I'll get up and I'll, I'll be in a, you know, I'll, I'll cry. Should I uh, yeah. get off the phone? Sometimes yeah, you just got to cry. Off the phone. Get off Brennan, get off the phone. Oh, my gosh. That boy's a genius. He is. So listen, uh, Paula, I, uh, you know, I'm calling because, uh, you know, we had that date and I thought that went great, you know, except for when, uh, when my credit card got declined. I thought that was funny, <laughs> but you didn't. And I, so I figure I owe you one. And, uh, yeah, uh, listen, I've got an idea. What if you don't owe me dinner? Not a date, but if I happen to see you, we would you know, chat. Or exactly. Mm -hmm. Or if you pick up Brendan from practice, I would maybe, you know, I would run up and I would, uh, you know, we could get a few minutes. That would, that would be I, not, not every. Great, I, mean. I don't mean to interrupt again, but oh my gosh, Brendan is still on the phone. Very proud of both of you. You're both acting like adults, and I. Brendan, I'm gonna want to talk to you in a minute. I, I'm, I'm going. You're so, doing really well. All right. So I think I might see you on Monday. We got Monday practice. Yeah, at, at three. At three. Right. At three o'clock. Okay, then I'll see you there. Or actually, you know, I know a guy at a travel agency who has great deals on cruises. At <laughs> what? No, no, no. She's but trying to let like you down, and you're going backwards. I, I think we should just stick to the random. Bumping. Well, I mean, I'm just saying, and we could do that on Monday. I'm, I'm not oh, saying that. Hey, you know what? I think that's going to be it for me. Hi. Hello. How did Put you... your mom back on. She's, no, she's, she's motioning like uh, she's taking a bath. Oh, this is really? kind of yeah. sad. I get that. I don't know why she so abruptly gave the phone away. Well, I, I told her I'd <laughs> want to talk to you for a little while. So oh. we're going to a ranch? Well, it's cause it isn't really for kids. It's, oh, you know. I get you. So what do you want to talk about? I got I to gotta go, Brendan. You know what? All right. Melissa, well, you're in too. Brendan, Brendan, mm. you're out. You're Brendan, out. Okay. what are you, what are you doing? doing? Do that. Well, what's wrong with that? Well, just don't do that. Do something else. Now get back in. Okay. Yeah. You know what? Don't go in all the way. I'm on. Uh, Stay right near me. Should I jog in place or something? Uh, yeah, <laughs> should I jog in play. place? Here, go, here it comes. Kick it. Kick it. Ah! Oh, come on, ref. What are you not going to call that? Uh, oh, come on. 
The kid got cream. <sighs> What's a 21-year-old kid doing on that team? Oh, I mean, ref, call something. Okay, walk it off. Walk it off. Walk it off. Okay, <laughs> this whole sport's out of order. He's a tough kid, that kid of yours. Very tough. And who's got the orange slices? Who's got People the call. orange and, slices? Uh, forgive me if I'm overstepping my boundaries here. But uh, can I sit on your lap? <laughs> it, no, what? I, Brandon was telling me that um, you and, and uh, the coach went out on a date. Is that is that true? Yeah. Yeah. Well, I, I, you know, I certainly learned my business, but <clears throat> he, he seemed kind of rattled by the whole thing. Yeah. Coach? No, Brendan. I think of all three of us, I handled it the best. I hate this sport, Brendan. <laughs> I mean, I hate this sport. No, you don't. No, I was just thinking that we met, for, I guess, for the first time at the PTA meeting. Sir, you're taking two way ago. too long with this and, point. Uh, Come on! You, by the way, there's something I meant to tell you two years ago at the PTA meeting. Yeah. I'm uncomfortable around you. <laughs> it slipped my mind for the last two years. I've been meaning to tell you that I really think we're not going to hit it off. And they're just talking. Okay, they're I here to support that. the team. Paul, uh, in they're not paying weeks, attention uh, at all. Saturday morning, Melissa and I are giving a recital, and I would love it if you and Brendan can join us. You're giving no. a recital? Well, I, I, you know, she's playing the piano, I'm playing the violin, it's, it's, um... Really? It's, um, kind of cute. Minor. It goes, uh... Stop bringing your violin! I'm sorry! Dad, what the good... You said you weren't bringing the violin! It's, Paula made I'm me. playing soccer! Play Freebird! Freddie, don't encourage him! And get away from my mom! Get away from my mom! Oh my gosh! That was the most I've laughed at a show, I think... <laughs> in such a long time. Okay, so let me let me break some things down. The design is distracting for me, but once you get used to it and you kind of ignore that element of it, it's it's okay to watch. The uh like I said, the art style is very distracting for me personally, but it you you do get used to it. The humor is spot on. It is the humor is spot on. Because like I don't know if this is just my humor because I like Bob's burgers and I love how like Lauren Bouchard and um, John H. Benjamin work as far as like the jokes and John H. Benjamin can drag out a joke and for some reason it's funny the entire time but just every line was making me laugh and it's just the characters were just so funny to me and there were just times when I love when the coach and Brendan interact the most because it just it's so natural it sounds like just two guys in a sound booth just like having a back and forth about some random topic and it's just hilarious to me so that was a lot of fun i am hoping that this video does well because i'd love to continue the series if you guys did enjoy be sure to leave a like on the video thank you so much for watching thank you for staying awesome until next time guys bye